Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we'll be talking about percentiles. So percentiles have a really easy definition. Whatever percentile you're at, that percent is below you. It does require that the data be ordered. And if I were to say that I was in the 70th percentile, that means that 70% is below me uh, or less than me. So it's the number that makes you feel really good or really bad about yourself, right? So if you score in the 80th percentile for the ACTs, that means that you scored better than 80% of people that took the ACTs. Um, if you have a height that's 95th percentile, that means that you're taller than 95% of people your age. So very straightforward. If I use this example of the animals, it's really silly, but there's 10 animals here. And let's say we're going to rank them from the most, uh, from the least intelligent up to the most intelligent based on some tests that we performed. So again, it's ordered. If I were to say what animal is at the 50th percentile, I would count one, two, three, four, five, right? Because there's 10 animals and that would be the location for the 50th percentile, meaning that 50% of the animals at that point, 50% um, of the animals from that point below are less intelligent than this animal at the 50th percentile. So really, again, kind of silly, but that's how it works. So when you're thinking about percentiles, there are um, specific percentiles that have different names that we'll learn about in future videos, and that's going to be Q3, the third quartile, the median, and Q1, which is the first quartile. So they're called that because of the percentage, um, or they're called that because they have three quarters or 75% below it. So Q3 is actually the 75th percentile. The median is the middle, so it would be the 50th percentile because 50% is below it. And then Q1 has one quarter below it or 25%, so it's actually the 25th percentile. But we'll talk about those in more detail in future videos. See you there.